progress. It's said to be something that marches on. But in our quest to develop and improve, this nation hasn't always followed the most environmentally conscious path. Today, growing awareness guides us to plan rather than plunder, considering the needs of nature along with our own. Nearly 90% of adults use it. Nearly 46% of adults refer to it every week. Advertisers spend nearly $14 billion a year to be in it. What is it? Research has estimated that about 13.4 billion times a year, people will let their fingers do the walking through the Yellow Pages. Consumers like the Yellow Pages because it's a fast and easy way to find out information about local businesses. You can literally open up the Yellow Pages and within a minute have an intelligent conversation with a merchant about buying a product or service. Advertisers like it because it's one of the last opportunities to influence a purchase decision before it occurs. And they like it because it makes the phone ring, brings customers in the door, and provides a terrific return on investment. In the past, consumers who had a telephone line in their homes received one set of Yellow Pages from the phone company. But today, consumers and businesses may receive different books from a number of publishers throughout the year. You know, as the economy has grown, there has been an increase in the number of directories that consumers receive. But it's important to note that not all directories contain the same information. Some cover large geographic areas, and others are neighborhood focused. So it's really up to the consumer to determine which directory best meets their needs. Along with the increase of new Yellow Pages being published each year, comes the problem of what to do with the old ones, and what kind of waste problem are all these old discarded phone books having on the environment. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, Yellow Page directories account for about one-third of one percent of the municipal solid waste stream. By contrast, standard mail and newspapers account for about two and a half percent and five percent respectively. So we're a small percent of the overall waste stream. Our industry has worked very hard over the last ten years or so with our printers and paper suppliers to use vegetable rather than petroleum-based inks to minimize our impact on the environment. As the leading trade association for the Yellow Pages industry, Yellow Pages Association, or YPA, is committed to working with its members to lessen the environmental impact of directory products. The Yellow Pages industry strives to make the environment safe by recycling, reducing, and reusing materials. Yellow Pages publishers and suppliers have invested in large capital projects to minimize the industry's environmental impact. One of the most important projects we've embarked on to minimize our industry's environmental impact is the development of voluntary environmental guidelines. And those guidelines have three components. One is source reduction, giving consumers the ability to opt out of receiving unwanted directories. Second is environmentally friendly manufacturing practices. And third is supporting local community recycling efforts. Additionally, publishers use paper containing nearly 40% of recycled content. The paper industry has purchased and installed expensive equipment to manufacture recycled de-inked pulp. In addition to the recycled pulp, directory paper contains fiber primarily derived from residual chips, a byproduct of sawmills left after logs are converted to lumber. The chips become paper pulp instead of going into landfills or being burned. We don't need to cut down trees for directory paper. In fact, trees have much higher economic value to be used in the construction industry than they do for directory paper. And so when you take a round tree and you make it into rectangular 2x4s, it produces residual wood chips. And those residual wood chips are combined with recycled newsprint and recycled directories to make up directory paper. We've always strived to be environmentally conscious. We buy paper from suppliers who demonstrate sound environmental practices. Our computerized systems more efficiently use directory space to reduce paper consumption. We use biodegradable inks, and our yellow and white pages are printed on paper that contains up to 40% post-consumer recycled fiber. When available, the remaining comes from wood chips and pulp, which are waste products of the lumber industry. Originally founded in 1975, the Yellow Pages Association is the largest trade organization of a print and digital media industry. Valued at about $31 billion worldwide, the association has members in 29 countries. Our membership consists of publishers, both print and online, domestic and international, Yellow Pages agencies, which sell print and online advertising to national advertisers like General Motors, State Farm Insurance and Enterprise Rent-A-Car, 
and vendors, which provide goods and services to our industry like printing, paper, and navigational software for our online services. As one of the founding members of the YPA, we've always taken a leadership role in matters surrounding the environment. We encourage our members to be environmentally responsible and to commit to continually improve the environmental performance of their products. We were one of the first members to sign the recent Yellow Pages Association and Association of Directory Publishers Joint Environmental Guidelines document outlining our commitment to the environment. You know, we're an industry of some 50,000 men and women, and we're committed to being responsible environmental citizens. We support local businesses, we breathe the same air, we drink the same water, and you know, we live here too. YPA is dedicated to presenting accurate, reliable information on the environmental effects of the Yellow Pages industry. YPA is also working with national environmental groups on sustainable practices related to telephone directory production and distribution. For more information, please contact YPA today or visit its website at ypassociation.org. Thanks for being with us today. Maybe you were able to affirm some of your own ideas and ambitions. Be sure to join us next time to hear more about the people and ideas helping to shape the future. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr.